Dabo Sweeney's been the target of a lot of criticism from college football fans and Clemson Tiger fans specifically, uh, really since the offseason last year. Uh, but this year, Drew, with the 4-4 four and four start, things are obviously not going the way that Clemson Tigers fans envisioned. And I think the frustration is showing on Dabo Sweeney's side and obviously on the fan side. And things came to a boiling point, obviously, on the Internet. It's going around of that interaction on Dabo's radio show. So, Drew, whenever you're seeing all the criticism that these Clemson Tiger fans are giving Dabo, um, what, you know, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, the thing with Clemson right now, and we've talked about this in previous years, about this downward trajectory that Clemson's been on since they were winning national championships with Trevor Lawrence. Obviously, when you win two national championships in a, a you know span of three years, expectations are going to be high from the foreseeable future if you have the same coach. Now, Dabo, when he won those national championships in 2016 and 2018, Clemson was on top of the world. People were really looking at him like the best program in college football. But things have changed since then, Aiden. You know, the NIL and the transfer portal and everything, and we mentioned this before, Dabo's inability to use those things is starting to show up a little bit now. Uh, when you look at this Clemson team, this isn't just a team that's just having a bad year. This is a bad Clemson football team this year. Four and four losses, you know, got blown out by Duke in the first game of the season. A uh, bad loss to NC State this past week. You know, obviously a loss to Florida State and Miami. I mean, this has been a Clemson team that we're not used to seeing. We're used to seeing Clemson win these games that they're supposed to win, and they just haven't done that this year. So when expectations are really high and you're losing these games and you're sitting at 500 uh, heading into the last week of the regular season, there are going to be a lot of fans with those expectations that are going to be questioning what the hell is going on. And you're starting to see that a little bit. And we've talked about, you know, the interaction on the radio show where the fan was honestly questioning Dabo Sweeney's salary to go four and four. Now, I will say this. What Dabo has done in previous years, there shouldn't be a fan on planet Earth that should be questioning if, she, if he deserves the money that he's making. It's okay to have legitimate questions on why Dabo isn't using the transfer portal and why is he not putting more of an emphasis on NIL and getting players using NIL. But at the same time, Clemson, Dabo Sweeney's done a lot for this program and I do have legitimate questions moving forward. And I do think there are some things that he does that I don't agree with. But the fans to go on and question his salary is just not called. It's just uncalled for. Yeah, Drew, and I feel like a lot of the criticism that Dabo Sweeney has started whenever the NIL became a thing. And he's notorious for being one of the only college coaches that is very vocal against NIL and saying that he does not like it. And he recruits a certain type of player at Clemson. You know, they want a Clemson guy. They're not going out and trying to bribe the best players to come just because they want the best players. They're looking at other qualities. And, you know, with that being said, some of the quotes that I feel like Dabo has, you know, had let out in, onto the Internet have been a little bit, you know, you know, twisted and misused. Now, does he not like NIL? No, you know, which I don't agree with. We've talked about that on this channel. But it's not like he's saying – like he, he he's trashing anybody in these quotes. He like, – like I just said, he wants a specific type of player coming to Clemson. You know, it's more about just football. It's about being a man and molding these guys and being a leader. That's the same things Nick Saban says, Drew. But it's like because it's Dabo Sweeney, you know, they twist it and turn it into a negative. And then the same thing about building uh, football in God's name, image, and likeness. In the South, that's like it's, – it's faith, family, and football. Like that's in that order, you know. So coming from the South, that's completely normal. And then you see him getting berated on the internet for it. Now, is he old school and should he use more NIL? Yes. But with that said, like the quotes that people are, are, are getting them on, it's, it's really unjust to me. I don't think he's saying anything that isn't like, you know, pretty much coach talk. Yeah, and when Dabo, like you said, his stuff is getting taken out of context a little bit, Aiden. And I don't think there have been a single fan that has a problem with what he was saying if he was producing wins. As a head football coach, your job is to win football games. I mean, point blank, that's, that's just how it is. And it doesn't matter what you say or what you do, really. If you're producing wins, people aren't going to question what you're saying and what your methods are. But in the same breath, whatever you say, and if you are for some reason struggling and having a bad year like Clemson is with expectations being high, people are going to ridicule almost anything you say because they don't have any trust in you at the moment. And I think a lot of Clemson fans, whether they're they're losing trust too quickly or what, I think they are you know, losing a lot of trust in Dabo just because of this downward trajectory that Clemson's on. And then, of course, you know, you have the turmoil amongst the players and the coaches. Uh, and I've seen multiple bits of it live of coaches and uh, players really getting into it on the sidelines. And, you know, that's just really not a good sign for this team heading down the road. This is a team that's been very 
uh, that's really emphasized the relationship between having respect between its players and its coaches. And that's just something that we're not used to seeing from a Dabo Sweeney coach team. So it really is just a disaster at Clemson right now. Now, I know Dabo likes to talk about success in previous years, but this isn't 2016 and 2017 and 2018 anymore. You have to find ways to win football games. I completely understand where Dabo is coming from, where he wants to make these players into men. And there's a lot of coaches, and like you said, Nick Saban and Kirby Smart, they have those same ideals and they want to turn these players into men. It goes far beyond football. But there's different ways to attack that and approach that method where you can be successful with that and still win football games, and Dabo just hasn't done it. So until Dabo starts winning football games, you could start to see a lot of the things that he gets said taken out of context because these people like to think off emotions more than facts. And there's a lot of fans that are guilty of that. When your team's losing, sometimes emotions do come out before you start thinking logically. Drew, one of the biggest things for me when you talk about Clemson fans, you know, uh, turning on Clemson very quickly Whenever you have a program that's had, you know, long tenured success, you forget how to handle losing, you know, just like teams that are bad have to learn how to win. If you're, you know, a good team on the decline, you got to learn how to lose, you know, and that's the issue, I think, with, you know, you see the coaches and the players fired up on the sidelines going at each other. It's not because they necessarily don't like each other. It's just because they're both upset and they both want to win. And they're, you know, it's not happening at Clemson right now. You know, with that being said, you're hundred percent correct. It's not about what you've done for me. It's about what you do for me now. So like you said, Dabo loves to talk about uh, what he's done in the past, but you have to win these games now. And there has been games that they've, they should have won or they should have won. And it's been some questionable decisions, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to execute. And as far as execution goes, the recruiting classes that Clemson has had the last two years, they are not as good as Clemson teams in years past that were national championship contenders. That is something that, you know, Clemson fans have been, you know, talking about for a couple of years now. And that is because of NIL. Um, and that's just a matter of the fact, like you have to use it. Even if you're still going to go and get these Clemson like players that you recruit, you're going to have to, you know, do something as far as NIL to get these players because, Every other team in college football, Drew, because of NIL, like you're seeing it, the, the B tier, B plus tier teams are getting better. Like, like more teams are competitive at the top level, except like Clemson is just going down and down and down. Football is a game where you have to adapt or die. I mean, like if you like look at all the offenses, like everything in football is constantly changing, you know, schematically, personnel wise, like. If you're not constantly adapting, you are falling behind. And with the NIL and recruiting situation, that's what we're seeing at Clemson. And that's a big reason why they're not coming out of these closed games. Yeah, and with Clemson, Aiden, this isn't a thing. I think Clemson's at the point now where they're not using the NIL and the recruiting classes have not been as good as they've been in years past. That unfortunately, I don't think this is a thing that they can turn around in the span of a year. I think, unfortunately for Clemson and Dabo Sweeney, this is kind of a two- or three-year hole that they've kind of dug themselves into if they want to get back to where they were. And with the ACC, you know, you have teams like Florida State, North Carolina. You have some teams in the ACC. You talked about other teams getting better, you know, your average teams. This is a situation where Clemson, unfortunately, is going to run into these problems for the foreseeable future where they're losing games that they shouldn't lose. And until they get these recruit recruiting classes fixed and Dabo starts to adapt into the new world of college football, this is what you're going to probably expect to see. And I think that is another reason why a lot of fans are starting to get concerned because they're, they've already thrown this season in the trash. They've already crumbled the season up and thrown it in the trash. They're already looking at next year and the year after. And if they see what's going on this year, th this is probably what they're expecting in the next couple years of Dabo Sweeney doesn't change his philosophy. And I think that's another reason why fans are starting to get a little anxious, Clemson fans I'm talking about, about where Clemson is heading at this point. Because if you look at the quarterback play and you look at the overall talent on Clemson's team, like I mentioned before, this isn't just a bad year for Clemson. This is a legitimately not good football team. And, you know, the Clemson fans, like you said, Aiden, they just, you got to learn how to lose if you've been on the top for a while. But I don't think a lot of fans want to lose. They, obviously, they don't want to learn how to lose in any way. So with that being said, you know, it's going to be a long uh, process, I think, to get Clemson back to where they are. You're going to have to deal with the turmoil from the fans. But at the same time, it's time for Dabo Sweeney to change his methods. It's time for him to get away from his old school methods and start adapting to NIL and the transfer portal. And if he doesn't do that, Clemson's going to be looking at seven and eight wins per season, if not worse. 
In conclusion, Drew, as far as the criticism goes for Dabo Sweeney from these fans, I don't think a lot of it is warranted. Now, you can you can say what like what's going on? Like, why did we lose to Miami? Why did like what happened in this game at Florida State? Like, you know, you can criticize what he's done this season, but you can't go as far as to say like you need to fire him and like he needs to go and he's like it's this is one bad year. After, like he said multiple times, you know, 12 years in a row of 10-plus wins. Like, Dabo Sweeney has proven that he can coach. So, after one bad year, you can't just, like, put him on the hot seat and start calling him a bad coach and criticizing. Like, it really is disrespectful to Dabo Sweeney. I I can understand why he gets so agitated and lashes out on some of these fans and and some of the press because – he brought Clemson to a an elite level. Like, they are on the same level as Alabama and Georgia, you know, from, from four or five years ago for a long time. And fans are so quick to forget that and, and then so quick to, to say, like, oh, you know, Dabo can't coach. He, he sucks. We need to get him out of there. Uh, do you think that another coach can come in and replicate the same success that Dabo's had? I mean, you might be able to find a guy, but – like look throughout the slate of, of college football as a whole. It is very hard to find an elite coach that can get you over that hump from like very good to great. I'm talking like top two, top three in college football. That's why we've seen the same four or five teams make it to the national championship for the most part, because there's only a select few amount of coaches at the college level that can really take you to that elite level. And Dabo has proven to be one of these guys. So if these fans keep knocking on uh, Dabo Who's to say he won't leave Clemson and go to a, a good team and turn them into a very good and elite team in a couple of years? Like Clemson fans, you know, the grass ain't always greener. You got to appreciate what you have and what Dabo's done. Very well said. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Please leave below down in the comment section what you think about the Clemson Tigers and where you think Dabo uh, really needs to improve on. What does he need to do differently? Is there anything he needs to do differently? Uh, do you agree with what he's doing? Things of that, just leave it down below in the comment section. Of course, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell as always, guys. And be sure to look out for the content we're going to be releasing this week. But that's going to do it. We'll see you guys in the next one.